This is a demonstration of the installation and operation of the new MyTouch Lockpick Air. We're in a 2014 Escape. Now that we've got the screen removed and the connector from the back of the uh, screen is removed also, we're ready to install the lockpick interface itself. It comes with an easy plug and play harness. It's just going to plug directly back into the screen, same place the original connector was at. The other side plugs back into the other end. Just a simple inline harness. Very, very easy. This is a remote control device. So it comes with a full remote. And of course the remote pickup, you can place this anywhere in the vehicle you'd like to. The uh, module itself has multiple inputs on it. You can see we have our Wi-Fi input. This is for our streaming. Uh, audio and video from smartphones and tablets and such. Also you're going to have AV inputs, standard AV inputs. You can plug anything you like into it and show it on the screen. You have multiple camera inputs. There's four on the module plus an additional one on the harness itself for plugging in rear, front, left, right cameras. They're all, all ready to go. A second rear camera can plug into this also. If you're pulling a trailer it's all built in ready to go. There's an additional harness that comes with it. This is for audio and video outputs. You can select those on screen using your remote control and send the uh, video and audio from this device out to another screen or to headrests. Very simple, I'll go ahead and finish the installation and plug it in. Okay, with the harness plugged in, that completes the installation. So if you're going to add additional cameras, you can plug those into the module before you install it. Also, there's connections on the harness for power for your additional cameras. Uh, just plug them in here. You don't have to search anything in the car for it. It's very simple. And for this installation, it's easy to just slide the module underneath the screen itself. You can see I've just extended the antenna out in the back side here. I'll just fit it underneath this hole. Slide it back in, and you're ready to go. Okay, the lockpick's been installed and the dash has been reassembled. I'll go ahead and go through some of the menus that are available on the lockpick here. Just going to use the remote control that comes with the kit. Just press the menu button. And that's going to bring up the lockpick menus that we have. There we go. From here we can scroll down. We have override. This just enables the operation while in motion if you would like. We have lockpick air. That's our Wi-Fi input. We have a wired aux AV input. Those are the RC jacks on the module. You can connect multiple cameras. I'll go ahead and show you what they are. We have a rear camera we can show. Second rear camera, front camera, left camera, right camera. This is all built into it. If your vehicle doesn't have a rear camera currently available on it, the uh, lockpick can program that for you and enable that input. You have headrest options. This is what you're going to send out to that second connector that I showed you. These are the um, AV outputs. You can connect to a separate screen. So from here we can show the Wi-Fi, aux, any of these cameras that are connected and again this is fully dual zone so whatever you send out to the second screen is not necessarily what you're going to see in the front one you can select them independently go back to our additional options here these are other ways that the uh, interface can perform for you it can show you an automatic rear camera that's on by default you can also enable a second rear camera this will turn on instead of the factory or the aftermarket rear camera It'll be a different view that you can see whenever you're backing up so it could be for a trailer or things like that bed cam that's all built into it ready to go Auto front camera will turn on automatically when the car is below 7 miles per hour. It will turn off when the car accelerates. We have auto turn cameras you can connect. These will be activated by the turn signals. And you can also send these, um, these camera outputs to the second screen or to that headrest output. So you can see the cameras through there. We also have a connection here or, or a selection for factory AV jacks. That's just to identify whether your vehicle has AV jacks or not. 
it'll work in both. By default it's going to be on. If you have AV jacks in your console or something like that, just go ahead and select that or leave it selected like it is. And the uh, lockpick will send its audio and video information through those jacks onto the screen. Car type, this is how we identify which um, vehicle the interface is installed in. Just go ahead and select that and show you how it's set up here. By default, type 0 is going to be the ones for the standard installations for Ford and Lincoln vehicles. Had different uh, adjustments for C-Max, Fusion, Focus, or standard transmission vehicles. So again, that's all built into the lockpick ready to go. Next what we'll do is say you have the language. The interface can be in English or in Spanish now. And also info. This is going to show us our software and hardware revisions. The unit is USB upgradable, so you can select that and it'll show you which one you currently have installed on it and say if we have updates for it, we can make those available to you. Next what I'll do is move on to the um, Lockpick Air demonstrations. What I'll do is just bring the radio down to the AV input. This particular vehicle does have the factory AV inputs. If I go ahead and select the Air function on the remote control, it'll bring up our Lockpick Air screen. And from here I can go ahead and, and connect my phone, so I'll go ahead and do that right now. If you notice this one also it gives you a display of what type of uh, Wi-Fi operation it's going to perform. Right now it says DLNA. That's uh, the air streaming uh, that's compatible with the um, Apple phones. The unit can also be set for um, Miracast, and again, we're just going to push the, the air mode button on the remote control, and the interface will reboot, and when it boots back up again, it'll boot up in the Miracast mode. If you push the button again, it'll come back onto the WIDI mode, which is an Intel type of uh, video and audio streaming. Okay, now I'll demonstrate the uh, Wi-Fi streaming, the Lockpick Air function. I've got the uh, interface now in the DLNA mode, which is compatible with the Apple products. We'll use an iPhone 6. You can also do this with the 4s and the 5s, uh, anything that has the proper software and the latest software from Apple. Um, the interface to start this off, just make sure you have your Wi-Fi turned on and you selected the Lockpick Air as your source. And then just basically scroll it from the bottom of the screen on these, pick the AirPlay function. And then one of the choices will be the lockpick air. Go ahead and select that and turn on mirroring. Once you've done that, it's going to take this screen and send it up to the lockpick and just basically duplicate the phone up there. Now that we're connected, everything that's on the phone shows up on the front screen. So if I turn on a map, you'll see the map. And again, it follows the orientation too. If I turn the phone, then the, then the screen will turn also. internet stream through and you scroll it'll show up there simple easy wireless with sound other functions you can do uh, I'll go ahead and turn on one of the video functions um, you have a, an app called PlayTube allows you to connect to YouTube and play the videos from there onto the system there it comes There's also another function called Crackle. It actually has movies, and you can play those movies through it. And again, this will be with sound. Play through the whole system. You can also see your text messages on here all streaming wirelessly from the phone. Nice system. Go ahead and connect the Android to it. I'll show you how it works with that one. Okay, now switch the interface over to the Miracast mode. I'm going to uh, connect with the Samsung phone. These are compatible. The Miracast is compatible with all the Android devices. So to perform that, basically just connect the Wi-Fi to the uh, lockpick, as I've already done. Select the Settings button. Scroll on down to the screen mirroring. And what it'll do then is make a connection to the lockpick device. As soon as it connects, then the screen from the phone will then show up on your radio screen. It takes just a couple seconds. Okay, now we have the phone showing up on the screen. From here I can do um, a myriad of functions with it. Certainly the internet, just connect the internet, just select the internet, and that will show up on the front screen. Again, it will orient also just the same as you have here. This will be with sound, of course. 
Androids have no restriction on them for streaming a video, so you can select um, Netflix from this one. Go ahead and do it. And play Netflix video. Those will stream wirelessly through, wirelessly through to the screen. Picture and sound. And of course any of the functions for map, your text messages, uh, emails, everything will come straight through and show. The Apple phones will do that as well, just there's some restrictions on iTunes videos, those will not stream through the Apple devices. Other than that, most everything else that you have can go right through it. That concludes the demonstration for the lockpick air functions, and we'll go through a couple more things for the cameras and uh, in this demonstration. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate the steering wheel control functions that are built into the lockpick. This particular vehicle, we're using uh, two of the buttons. We're going to use the home button, and we'll also use the voice button. The voice button will activate the override, turn it on and off, and the uh, home button here will actually activate the rear view camera, and it'll turn it on and off as well. We can do that without accessing the remote control at all. Right now, the vehicle is in park. We're bringing it into drive. I already have the override on, so the picture is going to stay on even though we are in drive. But using the steering wheel control, I can override that and just turn it on and off. Just pull the button. Three seconds, it'll turn the uh, override off. Now it returns back to its normal block state. And again, you can do that on the fly. You can turn it back on again. And it returns it back to the override. And the other button in the steering wheel is the uh, home button here. If I press that one and hold it for three seconds, what it'll do is it'll turn on the uh, rear camera. Go ahead and press that and hold it. And activate the rear camera. That'll stay on in any gear. I can turn it on and shut it off anytime I want to. I can just press the button. Like so. That concludes the demonstration of the new Lockpick Air. Again, we've shown the uh, different functions with uh, the Android phones, the iPhones, Apple products. Um, it's a really neat interface, very simple to plug in. It's just a simple one connector in the back of the screen, plug the other side into the factory harness, you're ready to go. You have headrest outputs, you got multiple camera inputs, very nice interface.